In this video, I'll show you how to sort products by brands in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. To be more specific, I'll show you two different methods in how you can achieve this. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, I'll be using two plugins to achieve this. So I'll be using the Perfect Brands for WooCommerce, which is a free plugin. You can go ahead and download it. I'll leave the link in the description below. And I'll also be using this WooCommerce product table plugin. Again, you can go ahead and download it. I'll leave the link in the description below. So let's head over to our dashboard and I'll show you exactly what we'll be achieving today. Okay, so here we are on our shop page and we've got this classic grid setup here. So I've also added the brands filter here on the sidebar. So for example, we can filter by this particular brand and then when we click filter, then it should show all products matching this particular brand. So if we remove the filter, then again, it should show all products. And then the second method is this list view here. So this one's similar to the grid layout. This is powered by the product table plugin, but here we've got the filter here as well as on the sidebar. But the benefit of using this particular filter, you'll see for yourself, is when we filter by a particular brand, as you can see, the result is instant. So it's a much more slicker and smoother user experience. So I'll show you how to achieve these methods. So the first step is just to go ahead and download the perfect brands plugin. You can do this via the link below, or you can search for it directly from your WooCommerce dashboard. So it's perfect brands for WooCommerce. And I'll quickly show you how I've added a few different brands onto our products. Okay, so let's head over to our dashboard. And then let's navigate to products. And then I'm just going to click on this particular product here. Okay, so once you've installed a plugin, you'll see this new brand section here on the sidebar. And it works just like um, the categories. So if you've been adding categories and tags to your store, this will be super familiar. Okay, so you'll just add a new brand just like you would a new category. As you add in different products, you'll just select the appropriate brand and then you just click update. Okay, so to display this brand filter on the sidebar, we'll navigate over to our dashboard. In fact, we'll navigate over to our store page. Okay, so I'm just going to X this off and then we will go on the customizer here. Depending on which theme you're using, this process might be a bit different, but ultimately what we'll be looking for is a way to add the brand filter widget to our sidebar. So when we navigate to widgets here, we'll just click on that sidebar and then I'm going to click the plus icon and I'm just going to search for brands. Okay, and we can see this filter products by brands here and you just go ahead and click on it. Okay. And then you'll just hit publish to save changes. And that's how you'll add your brands filter to your shop page. But if you want to sort products by brands and filter products by brands, this is where the product table plugin will come in from WeSuite. So assuming you've downloaded and installed a plugin, so you'll just download the plugins from WeSuite and then go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install it. Once you've done so, just activate your key. And then from this add-ons menu here, just activate the product table plugin. Okay, so now when you click on WeSuite product table, you will see this general settings area here. So the first thing you will do is go ahead and create a new table. I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this one since I've already created it beforehand. So you just give this particular product table a name and it's just for internal purposes. So I'm just gonna call mine default. Okay, and then we'll navigate down to form information here. And then all you'll be doing, so if I click over to this page here, Let's go ahead and reset this. So here you can see I'm displaying the product image, the product name, the product short description, the brands, the price, and the add to cart. So essentially this is what these blocks are for. So we just go ahead and drag and drop it onto here. So name is the product name. Okay, um, product image, if I can find it. And then you just go ahead and rearrange it in whatever order you want as well. If you wanna rename the column, you'll just click on this pencil icon here. And then you can just type cover, for example. And instead of naming this name, we can just say products. Okay, so you just go, so in my case, I've just added a product image, name, short description. And for this custom data, this is how we're displaying our brand. Okay, so we'll just add this custom data block here. Click the pencil icon, and then from the data source, we'll select custom taxonomy. And then from here, we will select this brand's um, taxonomy here and then just go ahead and click update once it's saved you can click off the screen and then this is your brand's um, column 
So I'm going to delete this since I've already got it showing here. Then when we scroll down to image size, I've resized mine to a 150 pixels width by a 150 pixel height. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and click on form control here. Okay, so where it says product filters, I've just selected show base on the columns in the table. So let's say, for example, if we added a, um, a categories column as well. So I'm going to scroll back up here and I'm just going to add this categories column and I'm going to add it right next to our brands um, column. So now when we select this show based on columns in the table, it will automatically pull our categories column and our brands column and display that to our users. If you want it as well, if you wanted to display a custom filtering option, you can just go ahead and click custom here. And then when you click on this link, you'll see a list of all the different options in which you can include. For example, we've got this categories filter here. We can filter by tags. We can filter by all the different attributes. We can also add a on sale filter as well and so much more. But again, just to keep this video simple, I'm going to filter it based on the columns in the table. Okay, so now I'm just going to scroll down to this design here and I've just enabled the custom CSS option here and added a bit of custom CSS to our product table. I'll leave the link to this custom CSS in the description below as well. So once we've done that, we just go ahead and click save changes. Okay, that saves successfully. So we've got a few options when it comes to displaying our product table. For example, where it says quick order form here, we can select a page to automatically insert this product table into. Or when we go back to the general settings area, we can set our product table as the default shop page, or we can copy and paste this short code into any particular page or post, and it'll display the products. But for this example, I'm just going to set this product table as our default shop and category page. So we'll just select our product table here. So if you can remember, we named it default shop page and I'm going to select it again for our category page. Hit save changes. Now when we visit our store page, the default layout will be our product table. And then here you can see our categories filter and we can also see our brands filter as well. So this just provides your users with a super slick user experience. Just to add to the user experience, let's head back and add a reset filter as well, just to make the experience a bit more smoother for our users. Okay, so we'll scroll down to form control and then we'll just enable this option, which says reset button here. Let's hit save changes. Okay, and now let's refresh this page. And now you can see this reset button. So when we filter by a particular brand, we can just click reset it as well. And we can sort it by a particular brand as well. So if we click this brand column here, it'll automatically sort our brands in alphabetical order. Same for our um, categories column, our product names. So as I said, this is just a much more slicker user experience to allow your customers to quickly find exactly what they're looking for. So that's the you sort and filter products by brands in WooCommerce. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.